hello guys in this video I'm gonna show you how you can install and use PyGMT for plotting high resolution maps so I will just demonstrate you how to use these codes and you can come to this website and just uh, copy these codes modify according to your needs so I will just quickly demonstrate you how you can get these plot up to here and then uh, there are other examples also available in the same uh, post like you can plot the focal mechanisms or some specific examples like interest is and distance or uh, event station map so you can do all sorts of plot but in this uh, uh, video I, I'm just gonna show you how you can simply plot scattered points on a map so let's get started so I made a empty folder and then I opened a terminal in that folder for this video I'm gonna use uh, Mac but uh, the steps would be pretty much similar for Windows or for Linux so let's get started first thing we want to do here I'm gonna use uh, Anaconda for Python but you can use any other environment so so uh, Anaconda is pre-installed in my system uh, if you don't know how to install uh, if you don't have Anaconda installed in your system you can go to go to the anaconda.com and get the, the anaconda for your system so if you have anaconda installed other steps would be pretty much similar so here first we will create our environment it's always a good idea to create a separate environment for different projects so here we'll call pygmt learn uh, And then we can even specify which Python version we want to use here let's use 3.7 and it will take a couple of seconds to install uh, all the necessary libraries so just wait for a few seconds there you go so you have your environment ready so you can activate the environment by simply running conda activate your environment name now we are in the environment you can test that by just doing which python and you will know uh, you'll uh, see where this uh, python is pointing to which is inside the environment if you are a windows user you can use where uh, python okay so once we have uh, the the environment ready so we can install pygmt by simply doing conda install pygmt okay so uh, pygmt is installed we can test that by just uh, importing by GMT okay guys so the import is successful it took a couple of seconds so please be patient and uh, now we can quit this prompt and uh, I've uh, I made a script Python script uh, with pygmt underscore learn and here also we, we simply do import pygmt and if we run it you can execute this simply by doing pygmt learn and uh, as we are doing nothing just importing the pygmt it ran successfully now uh, we will just follow along this uh, tutorial so let's just put the uh, minimum of longitude and latitude and maximum of longitude latitude we also can specify our topographic data resolution in this case we took the 30 arc second 
global relief and then uh, we plot it so we we make the figure window ready so first we simply uh, import the figure from uh, figure method from the pygmt class and then we also prepare our cpt file which in this case i'm just simply using topo and you can define its range and if you want a continuous or not and then we can plot the topography so this we can simply do by just uh, grd image it's very similar to if you are coming from gmt it's very much similar to that we can define the projects and there are several other projects also available you can go to the pi gmt website and can look for other options available and then uh, so if if you simply do uh, this run so you're supposed to get this plot so let's just do that uh, before changing other things uh, so but you will have to you you can you, you'll have to save the figure so let's just save the figure and we call it topo plot and we crop it so we don't have like extra white spaces around the figure and we set the dpi of 300 and transparent equals true and uh, then we run this thing again it may take a couple of seconds because first time it need to download the topographic data as well so it will take some time for that as well and here we have uh, our results so let's just open the folder yes so we can have a look inside the vs code itself so here is our script and here is our plot and we we get the same plot as uh, we saw in this tutorial now let's add the border so for adding the border we just need to do the frame equals to true so let's try that let's copy paste by removing this one by adding frame equals true and uh, we can run this yeah so we can see that we have a border ready now uh, if you want have some shading like here it, it looks very flat right and if we want some shading like if we want the uh, higher topography to come out of the figure a little bit so we can add the shading into the uh, the grt image so we just simply need to do shading equals true so let's do that and uh, run it okay so now we get that figure next uh, we can also put some ghost lines so for that we just use ps ghost uh, like gmt in this case it's just a fig dot ghost uh, ghost is a object inside the uh, the pi gmt figure so we simply do that in fact we don't even need to um, uh give the argument of uh the projects and because we already have defined projects and before it's it's very similar if you are coming from by gym uh, from the gmt background then it will all make sense to you so let's just run it and there we go we have the coastlines ready uh you can also put some contour lines like here and uh, in this case i put the limit like contour lines need to be plotted only for uh, the regions with topography less than zero and up to minus eight thousand meters so uh, if we copy that and 
at this line so we will have and uh, control lines we want to plot at every 4000 meters and we want to put the annotations as well as uh, and the thickness of the uh, control lines so we plot that Okay, so we get the control lines as well now if we want to plot the data so let's make a fake data so if, in, now we are getting into the strength of the, uh, the Python so because Python we can use it to uh, do so many data analysis stuff so uh, and we can now combine GMT high resolution uh, mapping along with the power of data analysis with Python so we want to import numpy for that and we can import numpy as np so we set the alias of np for the numpy and uh, we can run it numpy installation comes by default with pygmt so probably we don't need to install it yes so we generated our data but we haven't even plotted it so let's plot it so for plotting the data we simply use the plot method of the fake object so we put the x as uh, the longitudes and the y as latitude and we set the styles to be circular and of size 0.1 inch color red pen means the border is black and we can even put some level uh, so let's plot it okay so we have got the points this point may not be exactly same as this figure because we are using uh, we are randomly generating the point so it's a bit different each time we run the program and at the end we can add the topography so we can uh, either add the uh, the horizontal topography which is by default so we simply do that and we run it Okay, so we have got the topography as well so it's all great if you want to uh, save the figure in PDF format so then uh, you don't have to set the transparent because transparent uh, properties you is true for the PNG only and if you want to do it in EPS or TIFF or any other format you can do as well so for the complete script you can simply uh, get it from this uh, this blog post simply uh, for this one for the focal mechanism I will show you so it's, I will simply copy this post um, this code from here okay and I'll make a separate script here and I'll call it uh, focal mechanism dot py and I'll paste that and uh, we want to save that as fm.plots and in the pdf format in this case so let's run that great so we have this plot ready and if you open the PDF you will get the focal mechanism plotted over the map so similarly uh, if you have the data available uh, in the tabular format uh, you can read it using uh, uh, Python as well so and then plot it so all sorts of uh, 
projections like in this one I use the uh, Malvite projection and you can explore other possibilities on the PyGMT website I'll put the link to the PyGMT official web page in the description so as you have seen uh, using PyGMT is super easy so you should give it a go thank you